video, we will discuss the problem that flatten binary tree into linked list. The problem says that given root of a binary tree, flatten the tree into a linked list. This linked list should use the same node class where the right child pointer points to the next node in the list and the left child is always null. The link list should be in the same order as the pre-order traversal of the binary tree. Let us consider the sample example. So suppose we have been given this particular sample example. So let's quickly copy it on the board and see. So suppose we have been given this particular example where we have been given 1, then 2, then we have 5, then we have 3. After this we have 4 and then we have 6. So here we can simply see that the observation is that our flattened link list should basically look like the the pre-ordered reversal like you can basically see that if we consider here so in this example they have given that after you flatten the link list the link list uh, should look like the pre-ordered reversal so what is the pre-ordered reversal of the given tree the pre-ordered reversal of the given tree is nothing but one then two then three then four five and six right this is the pre-ordered reversal for this particular given tree and we can observe that that is how the link list has been made we can basically observe that we have one right then the left child of one is null then we have two then we a uh, left child of uh, two is also null then we have three left child of three is also null then we have four then uh, after this we have uh, left child of four is null then we have five then five's left child is null then we have six six left child is also null right so this is how we have uh, built this particular thing now if we observe so we have to do this particular thing in order of n time and order of one space now whenever we have to do such kind of optimizations then the algorithm that should come our uh, come to our mind is nothing but the morris traversal algorithm and how does that algorithm work so suppose we have uh, this particular given tree only where we have the nodes as one then we have two then we have five here we have three and we have four and then we have six here so here one thing to observe is that what we do in Morris traversal is that we'll start from the root node okay and then uh, suppose this is our current node so what we will do is we'll check does the left child exist yes the left child exists if the left child is existing then for that particular left child we'll go as right as possible right we'll go to the right rightmost node so if we go to the rightmost node then what will we get we'll get four once we get four so once we get the rightmost child so we will do what we will simply point four to five that is the if we have a left child existing we'll go to that left child and for that particular left child we'll go to its rightmost node and then we will point its rightmost node to the right child of the node one that is the that was the starting node for us right and after we have done this thing so in the next step basically what will happen here is after this we'll remove these connections right so what will happen here is after we have done this so we'll remove this connection so it will look something like this like three then we'll have four okay and then we'll have six here so this is connected like this then two is connected and we can say this is connected also and four is connected to five after that and then after removing the connection for this particular node we'll mark the left child of one as null okay we'll mark the left child of one as null and we'll mark the right child of one as nothing but two so in that case how will it look like further so going further it will look like this one one is pointing to null then we'll have two after that uh, the same thing will be copied like basically one's right child is now two the left child is null and the right child is basically you can say two the right child of one will be nothing but two so after this what will happen here is then we'll have two for two we have three and four as the children and we can obviously see that now four is pointing to five and then we have six here right after this similarly we'll go down and we when we'll go down so after this we'll go to two and when we go to two so its left child exists and it is three now three does not have anything to the right so what we will do is we'll simply say that now three's next can point uh, three uh, like three should now point to four okay now three will point to four and the moment three starts pointing to four then again we will change the connectivity because now what will happen here is now for two for two also again what will happen we'll have one once left child is null then we'll have two you can see we have three then we have four here right and then we have uh, three pointing to four then we have four uh, pointing to five 
and then 5 pointing to 6. Now what will happen here is basically this particular node 2 for this particular node that was the current node will remove these uh, connections the left and the right and then we'll simply say that for uh, 2 its uh, left node is nothing but null and the right uh, child will be marked as 3 right so now the new structure 3 will look something like this 1 then we'll have null after that we'll have 2 2's left child would be null then we'll have 3 and then you can observe that uh, basically we'll be having 4 right and then you can observe that we'll be having 5 as connection and then 6 right so after this again we'll keep on repeating this particular process so when we repeat this process for 3 and 4 and all the other nodes then in that case once we do that so for one it uh, will have this child as two we can observe that we are getting this particular pattern as well right from this particular structure we can observe so uh, no matter how big the tree is this is how we can apply the modest reversal to it right if a particular node exists if a particular left node exists for the current node then in that case we'll go as right as possible for that particular left child and then we'll simply mark the that particular uh, nodes the left right most child's no next uh, as nothing but the right node okay so basically you can see that this will be null this will be null this will be null this will also be null after updating this will be null and this will be null and that is what the question is also expecting from us right you can see this so now let us quickly write the code and you can see that one thing that while we were traversing for this so when we apply it so the time complexity you can see we are iterating through every node exactly once so time complexity will be order of n space complexity we are not using anything so it will be order of one let's quickly write the code for the problem and see how it will be working so what we will be basically doing here is we'll first of all uh, have a current node so let's say the node star current that is the current node that we are currently at so we'll mark the current node as nothing but the root node okay then what we'll do is we'll say that while the current is not equal to null till that point of time we'll keep on iterating and when we are iterating so we'll check if the current's left is not equal to null if the left child is not equal to null in that case what we will do is we'll simply say that we'll find the rightmost so we'll say that node star let's say pre is equal to current's left right so we'll have a pre uh, node that will be pointer that will be pointing to the left child now for this left child we'll go uh, to the right as much right as possible so we'll say that if pre's right is not equal to null right unless and until it is null till that point of time we'll keep on updating and we'll go as uh, uh, to the rightmost child of this particular node uh, right of this particular current child's left node right so once we have gone through that then we'll change the pointer so we'll say, simply say that uh, pre's right node okay pre's right node will point to the current's right as i as i already mentioned that if you will remember so when we had one we had two we have three okay uh, we had four when we had five right so for one the left child was two then its right most child, child was five right then five uh, after five five uh, was pointing to which uh, particular node uh, like basically suppose that this was the thing given let's say that if we had one if we had two if we had three if we had suppose that we had one okay just check let's check the example again so yeah we had one two three four and five okay three four five and six right so after this what we can basically observe is that for two its rightmost child was four then four's next uh we were pointing to five indirectly right so basically this is what we are doing here as well in our coding part like we are saying that the rightmost child's uh, uh right should be pointed to the uh, current's right and then we will say that the current's uh, right the current node's right child should get uh, updated to the current's node left okay current's node left that is one thing and then we'll simply say that we'll mark the current's node left as nothing but null okay that is how we will do it and once we come out of the loop we will also say that current uh, should move to the right node that is we should move to the next node for the iteration because once we have done the iterations so after that what will happen it will look like this one one is pointing to null then we'll have two okay then as we i mentioned we'll have this and then this will be pointing like this so after that we'll move to two that is the right node of the current node after updation right so we'll simply say that current uh, current is equal to current right right okay now let's try and compile this code to see if it works or not it works on the samples let us try and submit this code so you can clearly observe that our code got accepted so this was modest reversal for you if you understood this problem make sure to hit the like button 
comment down understood as well and subscribe the channel as well thank you for watching